All right, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's time for the rooting guide. You guys know how this works. We did this last week. We go through every non-Seahawks game on the schedule, and we try to determine who is preferable from a Seahawks perspective to take a win or take a loss. And we're still very early in the season. It's really hard to determine a lot of this stuff. Uh, some of these games are not going to mean anything to us because they're completely detached from anything Seahawk related. So understand that some of these games we're just going to quickly talk about and then move through. But there's a fair amount of stuff the Seahawks fans should concern themselves with on this particular week. Um, just a quick reminder, I will be streaming with the uh, Hawks Nest later tonight. The stream should go live at about 8 Pacific. So clear your calendars and check it out later tonight. Okay. so. We got a game tonight, Bills at Dolphins, and on the surface level, it doesn't really affect the Seahawks that much. What I would say is this, we play the Dolphins in week three, and I think there's a difference in the mental state of a team that is staring down the barrel of one and two, having already lost the first game in their division, and a team that is looking at the worst case scenario of two and one having already won a game within their division. So I think that we'd prefer that the Dolphins win because I don't want to face a Dolphins team that is kind of got a fire under their butt to win that game when we play them in week three. But some people would have the alternate perspective there, right? Some people would say that, no, you want the Dolphins to lose, so they go into a downward spiral that we can continue. We don't want them to come in feeling good about themselves. We want them coming in feeling a little defeated because they already lost a big divisional game. That's not really how I feel like this works, but there's the two different perspectives that will lead you to opposite conclusions. But I say Miami tonight. I say we want Miami. All right, that gets us to Sunday here. First game, Saints at Cowboys. I mean, I I think that the Cowboys are likely going to be a non-trivial threat this season, even though I feel like they're not as good as they were last year. I think they're going to be a playoff contender. And I don't feel that way about the Saints. Of course, if the Saints win this game, then I may have to um, swing the other way on that. But for the moment, what I would say is we probably want the Saints to win. I feel like by the end of the year, the Saints will be a average at best team. And I'd rather have the Cowboys take some L's in places where you don't necessarily expect. Because that is a team that should be, at the very least, a playoff contender by the end of the year. Buccaneers at Lions. Well... I think that these are the two teams that are likely going to win their division. So it's somewhat unlikely that either team is going to end up as a wild card competitor for the Seahawks. So can't really think about it along those lines. What I will say is that we play the Lions this year. We do not play the Buccaneers. So strength of schedule wise, you want the Lions to win. But if you want to shoot for the stars here and say the Seahawks are going to be like a 13 win team this year and you think they'll be in competition for a number one seed or even a number two seed, then you probably want the Lions to take an L, knock them down a little bit under the assumption that they're the juggernaut and Tampa Bay will ultimately just be a good but not great division winner. But again, you're you're shooting for the stars there if you think you're going to be up there with Detroit at the end of the season, I think. So that one's tough. My inclination is to want the Lions to win strength of schedule and it's more likely excuse me more likely Seattle is in competition with Tampa Bay at the end of the year I think but this is one of those things where you can't know until you get closer to the end of the season uh Colts at Packers I I don't think the Packers are any kind of real threat anymore anyway because love isn't going to get back fast enough but while we're here and while we're here in an AFC versus NFC match I think you do want the AFC team to win. So it's the Colts. We do play the Packers this year, though. So there is a little bit of a strength of schedule argument, but I think that's clearly, clearly outweighed. Um, 
Green Bay could be a big threat when Love gets back. So if they could be like 0-5 or 0-6 before Love gets back and basically have them already in prison, then I think that's preferable. Uh, Jets versus Titans. We play the Jets this year. So strength of schedule-wise, I guess we want the Jets to win, but that's it. That's it. There's a... Uh, I got nothing else for this one. So... Yeah, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to say we want the Jets to win just because of that. It's super thin though, admittedly. So maybe, maybe you hate the Jets. Don't, don't be shy about hating the Jets this week. All right, big one. Well, theoretically a big one. We got Niners versus the Vikings. Niners obviously came away with that big week one win. So did the Vikings though, actually. So two teams that won in week one, we obviously will pretty much always be rooting against the Niners. So, yeah, we want the Vikings to win for sure. I don't have a lot of confidence in it, but uh, while we're here, we may as well pull for it, right? If we're going to be sitting here watching these games on Sunday, may as well root for something. Giants, Commanders. Um, I mean, which team is more of a threat? And actually, don't even answer that question. If either team is a threat, we live in a different timeline than the one we currently reside in right because it's pretty clear that the giants have an inept offense and the commanders have an inept defense and there's really not much about either team that you can possibly get excited or happy or intrigued by so you just kind of make a judgment call which team do you think is more likely to win the lottery and spend all the money they win in the lottery on brand new players that make their roster 10 times better. And I think the answer is probably the Commanders, if I had to pick one. So I guess we want the Giants to win. I will say we play the Giants as well. So we don't play the Commanders this year, we play the Giants. So strength of schedule-wise, I think you go that way anyway. So, sure. But don't stress that one too much. Chargers, Panthers. This is another one where it's like technically, yeah, Chargers. We want the Chargers to win. But also, who cares? The Panthers are not a threat. Even if they win this game, I just write that off as the Chargers being the Chargers and it being a fluke. And I wouldn't think anything of it. So, yeah, we want the Chargers to win, technically. But in reality, Carolina is cruising towards a top three pick. And even if they win this game, that's still the case. Uh, Browns at Jaguars, Seahawks don't play either team this year, two AFC teams. Yeah, I kind of got nothing. I got nothing here. I don't think there's anything you can really say about this one. Whatever happens, happens. Whoever wins, wins. And, uh, just root for whoever has prettier jerseys on Sunday, I guess. I don't know. Raiders, Ravens. Um, I think we're, um, I think we're in the same boat here. There's nothing. I got nothing here. Um, we don't play either team, two AFC teams, just root for whoever has the prettier uniforms. And that gets us to the afternoon slate, where we got Rams Cardinals, division rival on division rival. It really depends on what you think about the Cardinals. Are the Cardinals going to be any kind of a threat this year? Are the Cardinals going to be decent this year? Because that Rams team looks like they're not even going to get out of the starting blocks because of all these injuries. Their whole offensive line has been beat up and the Stafford might already be starting off the season on the wrong foot injury wise. Uh, Puka's out. And by the way, McVay's already indicated that those players that they're missing note, Boom Avila Puka are going to miss more time than just the four weeks that they're out on IR. So, I it, it kind of depends, right? Like, you don't want the Rams to be allowed to hang around here and maybe get those players back and go on a run. But at the same time, if you think the Cardinals are going to be okay this year, you don't want them to get off to a good start on the season either. And they did play pretty well in that week one game, right? That was not a bad effort by uh, Arizona. So this one's tough. My gut says we want the Cardinals to win and we want to bury the Rams as much as possible early in the season when they have all these problems. And we assume that the Cardinals will fall by the wayside later this season against other opponents. 
but I'm not completely positive with it. I, I think that you could make an argument the other way. But I think that we'd rather have the Rams get their heads cut off now and not allow them to linger on into the second half of the year. Uh, Steelers, Broncos, um, we played the Broncos this year. So strength of schedule-wise, I guess we want the Broncos to win. That's it, though. I, I can't think of any other angle here. Um, two AFC teams, and uh, there's not much of a draft pick consideration. So there really isn't a draft pick consideration f for any team for the Seahawks right now. So, yeah, nothing there. It's whatever. Uh, Bengals, Chiefs, that's another one where you kind of just uh you kind of just root for whoever you want to root for and it doesn't really make a difference um we don't play either team we don't uh have anything going on with either of those teams either so whichever team strikes your fancy when the kickoff hits bears at texans i've kind of been mindful of the bears as like a sneaky decent team this year we don't need them to get off to a 2 and 0 start after stealing a week 1 game so AFC versus NFC, the choice is fairly obvious here, I think. So yeah, we want the uh, Texans to take the dub. And then Monday night, final game of the week, Falcons-Eagles, interesting one. I'm still not completely writing off the Falcons, but Cousins might be, Cousins might be like a write-off this year. He might be... We've seen athletes have that one very shaky year right after a major injury, and then the next year they come back and they're all ready to go. This might be that off year for Cousins. And if that's the case, Atlanta's probably just kind of a, a, a you know, you can forget about it this year. And Philly, they did win their first game. Philly is at least a threat, even though I'm not really buying what they're selling so I think you'd rather have Atlanta win this game and then just hope that Atlanta gets taken care of later in the year, knowing that Philly's probably going to be hanging around. And that's it for the rooting guide this week. I'll see you guys later. Let me know if you have any big disagreements. A lot of tough ones this week, honestly, so you may. Go Hawks.